Hey folks, my name is Torik Azmi and I'm the latest addition to the Petronas Tepang Racing Team and welcome to the team's first ever vlog. <laughs> and like any good vlog, we start at the airport, KLIA. Uh, as you can probably guess, I'm taking a flight out to Qatar where I'll be joining the rest of the team to get myself immersed into the uh, IRTA Moto2, Moto3 test sessions as well as the first two Grand Prix at Losal International Circuit. Now the purpose of this vlog is for me to give you an insight to what life is like working in MotoGP and I hope you enjoy it and uh, well let's not waste any time, let's get our adventure started. Oh by the way, I was not alone for this journey thankfully. I had a friend in Habib, the team's Malaysian mechanic working in our Moto2 garage. Our flight took roughly 7.5 hours and we were subjected to a COVID-19 PCR test upon arrival before being shuttled straight to our hotel in Doha. We arrived quite late as a result but I did get to meet a few of our riders and crew members for the first time during check-in and this was a treat before we all went into our mandatory quarantine. Ready for quarantine? Ready as can be. Can't wait. <laughs> All right, enjoy your quarantine chaps. So since we're I'm still in quarantine, there's a bit of time at hand uh, and I reckon it's probably the best time to give a proper introduction. I just joined Petronas Tepang Racing Team uh, back in January this year and the last few months uh, working with the team in the off season back in Malaysia has been quite interesting especially in these uh, new normal times and on top of that we also managed to to organize our our team presentation uh, as you may have saw online recently earlier this month so that was quite an interesting affair as well having to manage uh, uh, the shoots both in Malaysia and in Italy and uh, it was well worth it i hope you guys enjoyed our virtual launch Alright, good morning. It's Thursday in Qatar and we're about to board the bus to go to the circuit and get our boots on the ground. And it's set up day. A lot of things to do. Let's see how this goes. There are some strict rules with the team bubble. It includes travelling together in our assigned buses, mandatory COVID-19 swap tests at the circuit, plus a ban on leaving our cordon area in our hotel. This is racing's new normal, but it's not the worst thing ever. Okay. We're halfway through Thursday at Qatar test. We gotta go around the left side. And John McPhee's got me running while he's on a I'm going push faster. I'm, I'm just slowly, slowly getting faster. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be sprinting by the end of this month. <laughs> the things you do for your riders. Right, ah. right here. So John made me run, but this time I get a leisurely walk with my amigo Shabby Vieje. Hey. Uh, tranquilo, eh? <laughs> so hot here. Oh, very hot. Mucho grande hot. <laughs> okay, so today's agenda. I'm done with the uh, obligations with John. Shabby. Now it's the turn of our latest edition. Just like me, new to the team this year. Say hello to Mr. Darren Binder. How's it? What's happening, guys? <laughs> <laughs> so, Debra, you excited? I am, I'm super keen, eh? ready to get underway tomorrow and uh, start getting some testing done and then uh, two races in a row. Sweet. So even though there's no track action on Thursdays, there's still a lot of work to be done, especially on the communications and press side of things, as you saw me chasing the riders around just now. Uh, while we still have some light, we're at the photo shoot location. And uh, check that out, that's Mr. Binder right there in his new leather. Alright. <laughs> and basically that's how my first day looked like. Hello. Alright, who's ready for 2021? Yeah, we are. Sweet. Friday saw our Moto 2 guys kick the day off with the team photo shoot. There's a lot of walking involved, but Moto 2 rider Xavi prefers to cycle in and around the paddock instead. Smart thinking that. Ultimately, the day belonged to our Moto3 squad as they topped the timesheets. And we have this man to thank for that spectacular end to Friday. So, very windy Saturday morning at the track, and I'm with 
The Dixons! Hi Sarah, hi Jake! Hey. We're taking a walk to the Donna photo shoot set. Jake's recovery went tremendously well over the winter and, as you can see, he's in great spirits. Also, our second test day in Qatar kicked into high gear with the arrival of both Dato' Razlan, team principal, and Johan Stigerfeld, team director. By the way, here's Dato' hard at work. As expected, testing went well for our Moto3 squad throughout the day as it included a race simulation for both John and Darren. Both riders have shown great chemistry working with each other, which is a hugely positive note to their test. Oh by the way, here's how Moto2 looks and sounds like at night here in Qatar. As the final day of testing beckons, there were plenty of funny moments from the ever-growing John and Darren partnership. Hey Darren, what do you think of John? I think he looks cute. He looks what? Cute. So they say good teammates chill and do stuff together but some things you don't have to do together like walking around the paddock because as you can see Mr. McPhee has got a push scooter. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> Funny business aside, here's Shavi getting pointers from rider analyst Tor Life Hartelman. Sunday proved to be a pivotal day for our Moto2 squad as both Shavi and Jake ended their tests by placing in the top 5 of the overall testing timesheets. Yup, they're both looking great for the season. Whew. The last three days just flew by. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, pre-season test is over for Moto2 and Moto3. And uh, we've had a very, very positive test on both sides of the garage. There were some ups and downs, a couple of moments that didn't feel too great or look too great. But overall, those were very little compared to all the good moments we had. And uh, well, T minus just a few days till Qatar, Grand Prix uh, here in Lausanne Circuit and with that ladies and gentlemen I've got a bus to catch hope you enjoy this inside look of life in the world championship the world MotoGP championship and uh, look out for our next vlog where we go where we try and uh, where we try and give you a look inside life on a race weekend until then stay safe wherever you are like, subscribe, comment and share. Take care folks, bye!